Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to explain how I textured this model of this gun rifle created in 3ds Max. So, let's get started. We have this base model created and after we apply a troop smooth modifier we get these nice smooth edges and on the edges that we don't want to, uh, the smooth to be applied we just select them and under crease we set a higher number than zero. One is totally crisp. So after we do that uh, we get this effect and we uh, normally uh, apply a checker material setting tiling to about 20 by 20 so I can check if everything is ok with the UV map that I applied with unwrap UV modifier as we can see here we get these distortions of UVs and we get distortions of UVs here we can see this dark part is getting uh, pulled out into this part which we, which we don't want so to for the low poly version this UV is perfectly ok and distribution of edges is ok so this could be a low poly version maybe I could uh, remove some edges but we want to s we want to set this for high poly version so we're going to fix this problem of turbo smooth modifier and stretching of UVs so we apply additional edit poly modifier and we apply additional edges to the places where we we have seen that this uh, stretching of UVs uh, appears So the same way we uh, solved the issue of this, as we can see here, these dark parts are not getting pulled out into this area, which is exactly what we want. Another thing is that uh, we should have. Uh, after we apply turbo smooth and turn off isolate display this nice uh, you know, this nice distribution of wireframe uh, which is made out of pretty much normal quads and if we this uh, turn off this edit poly modifier we can see we have this stretched quads here which is not good for ZBrush because after we apply it in the ZBrush and try to poly paint it, the poly paint is applied on the vertices of the polygons and these vertices are pretty far apart so we're going to have this stretched feeling of poly paint in this not good so we have to apply editable edit poly modifier and we get this kind of result so after we do that we just have to make sure we have no angons which means polygons with more than four vertices you can use triangles but I try to uh, avoid them as well because angons and triangles are a problem in ZBrush and so I use only polygons with four vertices so when the when the model is set to be exported you just go up and export and export selected and set to obj name it and save it your obj export option window is going to pop up and you just select zbrush and export it and after a while it's going to 
say done and you shouldn't have any additional buttons here if you do you have problems with your polygons and you should check it and fix it and then export it again so you have this kind of uh, window with just the done button available so then you go to ZBrush and under tools you import this object that you created then click and drag on the canvas click uh, T on the keyboard to make it editable and you have your mobile uh, set to polypaint then I normally go down to geometry and turn off smooth modifier uh, so I re re retain these crisp edges after I subdivide the model I subdivide the model a couple of times so I get uh, approximately 1 million uh, polygons which is in my opinion enough to polypaint uh, your model so then I just turn off Z add and Z sub and turn off MRGB and I check if the RGB intensity is set to 100% then I use a skin shader and go up to color and fill object so the object is filled with the selected color and with selected material then I normally use textures or alphas with uh, standard brush and drag rectangular mode so I have more control on poly paint that I apply to the to the model I normally use this alpha 20 and sometimes some custom uh, alphas that can be found on Pixelogic website and you can download, download them for free so check them out and you can set them into your library you can press comma on your keyboard to get to your library and under alpha alpha, alpha, alpha folder you have your alphas uh, saved so then you just select your color and you set the appropriate RGB intensity and then you just drag and color your model then set it a little bit lower and you do some more so you get this nice transition from int intense color to less intense and to no color at all so if you use your textures for poly painting you just select your texture you can import your some different texture of wood or something and then just select them they should this texture should be at least 512 by 512 as you can see here we have 1024 by 1024 so we get this really nice detail on the model so we just click on it and then go down to polypaint and polypaint from texture and we if we have this set to 100% we are going to totally cover the the color that we applied before then if we want to polypaint it with some color we just turn off texture and select the color set the RGB intensity and then just color it some more this is pretty much it for the polypaint and after we do the polypaint we uh, we want it we just go down to texture map and under create we just click on new from polypaint and the polypaint is distributed on the UVs that we created in 3ds max then we just clone this texture so it's shown in this texture window and under texture menu we just flip vertically so after we reapply it in 3ds max these textures are going to be applied uh, appropriately then we just click on the texture and export it as PSD JPEG BMP or TIFF 
So this is pretty much it about uh, polypeding and uh, how I created uh, my model and in a later tutorial I'm going to probably show you how I used ambient occlusion and set up some lights for it and this is going to be a new tutorial so I hope you learned something new and till next time bye